This channel is part of the Nick Terrell Network. Sit back, relax and enjoy your featured presentation. Hi guys, hello and welcome back to another episode of Mega right here on TNTN. So today we return to 1991 with a pair of funky dudes, Toe Jam and Earl. So this was a really strange game, um, probably a piece of its time from the 90s. A couple of really funky dudes visiting the mad planet to collect part of their spaceship. Let's go down to the screen, have a quick play, and I'll come back up and give you a few thoughts. Oh, funky, funky already. Real 90s vibe, man. There's our boys. Okay, so this is Toe Jam, and we've landed on the planet, and we have got to find little presents and parts of our ship. Toe Jam is a wiener. <laughs> Loving it. Okay, there's our first uh, little elevator. Right, let's have a look what's going on here. So Toe Jam is still a wiener, we're on level 2, and Earl is on vacation. So we press the C button, that brings up a little map for us. B is our open present box. And A is our action. Look little dude, leave him standing on his own, just does like a funky little dance. So let's have a look around and about and see what's going on. Oh, let's avoid that little dude. So a little universe there in the background. To say a cheeseburger. I'm stuffed, good man. So it's just a case of like exploring around this mad little island. Following your map there, which opens up as you go along. And um, find these parts that we need. One of the most bizarre hands down games on the Mega Drive for me. Go grab the telephone. Okay, so we can just carry on opening these little uh, presents here. Help towards our score. We get money and we get points. Oh my god, I don't know who he is. See what I mean about Bazaar? Okay, obviously a little checkpoint there. I'm not sure if this would have been a bit played better in the 90s uh, with a substance or two, should we say? I can see quite a few people coming back from a nightclub or something and, um, you know, indulging and having a little bit of a go with this game here. There's like an awful lot of like exploring around, even on like the earlier levels. But I wanted to include it because it is like a Mega Drive classic. Get funky, baby. I'm walking right to the end of these things just so we're going to open our map up properly. See? So otherwise, what you find is you will go around. You can see it on the screen, but you're not realising. So like when you open your map up, it'll still sort of show areas that are like unexplored, which trust me, like you will be like walking for me to be quite a bit in this one. A little present there. Let's grab that. A little bit over exaggerated there, about him falling off the edge. Is this like Christmas tree shaped island or something? There's a little devil guy, you try and avoid him. Oh. Right, so we've gone right round everywhere we need to be. Collected everything, I think. So the early levels are like really easy. Things get like hella complicated later on. 
I'm going to check out a little area of the map here that I thought had something. No, it's nothing. Okay, let's go on to the next level. Okay, folks, let's leave it there. That is Toe Jam and Ale from 1991. Welcome back up guys. So I'm not really sure where to go with this one. Um, very, very bizarre. Um, and something that occurred to me while I was doing the video is kind of watching it might be boring, but it's not. It's one of those kind of games that you just, you know, you just keep exploring, finding like the presence, getting those parties shit, moving on to like the next level. Um, the first level is very, very, very easy. Like you saw, it's like an introduction, just walk around, shows you some of like the mechanics. Um, it does get trickier, round about like say four or five levels in, you got like smaller islands, more intricate patterns of the little walkways, um, more bad guys that kind of attack you and whatever. Um, I played in one player as um, Toe Jam. You can play one player as Toe Jam, one player as Earl, um, or you could actually play it multiplayer. One could be Toe Jam, one could be Earl, and you can walk around. It's more fun to be honest, it's one of those games uh, I first discovered this one properly many moons ago on this device, um, the Mega Drive Mini. And I took it into work one night, I'm going back about like five years ago now. Um, and I was on permanent night at the time and my night partner, she said to me, oh, you play Mega Drive? I'm like, yeah, yeah, of course do. And she goes, have you ever heard the Toe Jam and Earl? So I said, yeah, you know, I, I remember it vaguely from back in the day. I never ever bought it or whatever or even played it. So she goes, yeah, you know, bring it in, we'll have a go. So I was like, yeah, okay, no worries. So um, in I went that night and I put it on, I'm kind of playing first couple of levels and like, she's loving it. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not sure about that. You're like, what, what, what's this all about? Where was the fuss? But it's one of those sort of, um, like, I'm not really sure, like Zen games maybe. I was going to say trippy, but I mean, that's the whole 90s vibe of the game, I suppose. But it's a very Zen-like um, experience. Um, just, you know, just walking around. It's not going to kind of, get the pulse rates or whatever you know but it's a kind of little collect them up and it's one of them games i think it's very very marmite you'll either love it or you'll hate it uh i can't see many people going oh i'm gonna run out and i'm gonna go and grab it you know but for those that do they truly love it which is what like a classic or certainly a cult game on any genre uh, any machine should actually be okay guys leave me your comments below are you a toe jam and earl fan did you play um, would you play this one on like emulation or like a Mega Drive Mini or would you give it a pass? I'm going to leave it there. Um, next time I return, we will be playing Road Rash 2. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and join the Nitsarel network today.